take some of this crappy stuff which won't sell and take the stuff which will sell and actually make quite a lot of money which will be nice I mean these clubs are going to sell for a lot of money and actually give us a yeah can make us be able to actually maybe afford a horse and they also gave us 38 coins as well so let's continue our way to King's Landing to sell our goods hopefully we don't come across any more bandits because we are kind of low and we also leveled up as well so I want to go ahead and give ourselves oh we can't that's annoying. So we have to level up one more time before we can use a sword. Until then, we will carry on boosting up that ability. And in that fight, actually having a dagger was better because it meant we could swing it in that small space, whereas they can swing their massive uh, weapons. So Tywin Lannister is Hand of the King, and he is chilling in King's Landing. So let's go ahead and go to the arms dealer. How much can we sell our these for? Only 180, that's not really as much as I would like, but I mean it's 500 more coins than we'd have normally, which I guess is good. So let's go ahead and sell all of this crap as well. I guess that's another 300 coins, so we actually have quite a bit of money. Can we afford a horse yet? I mean these, some of these horses look really cool. Uh, no, we cannot. They are, horses are very expensive. So it's kind of annoying we didn't start with one, but we'll power through nonetheless. Uh, is there any armour we can afford? We can get some better boots, but we, I don't really want to spend 400 on them boots. I mean, this armour is slightly better, but it's not like a lot better. Um, okay, cool. We'll quickly just sell our dagger as well. Make a little bit more money. And then we will go ahead and buy some food. A little bit more bread. Is there any wheat here? Or grain? By the looks of it, no. We'll just buy some more bread. And then... Yeah, actually, let's go to the tavern. Let's see if there's any companions. It'd be kind of cool to find a companion already. It's just loads of townsmen, some guards. Elite halberds. They look cool as fuck. Okay, there's no companions here, which is kind of sad. But there's still some cool looking stuff. And I really like how they added in Townsman in the tavern. So it just looks like it's a lot more populated, which is cool. Some women up here. Yeah, there's actually like, the tavern actually looks like there's people here, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and leave uh, King's Landing. We now become pretty rich. Um... I don't really know where to go, like where to kind of have my troop base. We're just going to go back to uh, the Stormlands just to uh, fight some more bandits and like get a little bit stronger. But I think overall I might go over to the Iron Islands just because their troops look really cool. And the Iron Islands are always badass. So I feel like that's that's where I'm going to be getting the main 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 troop body or I might just go to the Riverlands and recruit a load of pikemen but then again they're not very they're not very good in close quarters so I might just stay to the Stormlands and get a load of levies um oh crap 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 run it's kind of cool that you can see the eerie as well from over here that looks really cool so let's make our way back um to the Stormlands. We'll actually we'll also go around all the villages recruiting levies as well. I mean we can probably upgrade like all of them. Yeah so we actually have some men at arms now which are a lot better. They cost us obviously they obviously cost us a little bit more so our weekly cost has gone up to 200. But we can afford that for some time now. And it, it means we'll be able to take on bigger groups of bandits giving us ergo giving us more money. Um, crap, he is really heavily armoured. How many men do you have? You have six troops fit for battle against his 19. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to pull back. Um, and my men might lose morale, which is annoying, but... You know, I kind of have to. I, I really should have been paying attention again. But you know, it is a lot harder when you're talking. Um, I actually want to have a look. Um, that's not what I look at. I want to have a look at who's actually at war. Is Stannis at war with Randy? Yeah, that's what I want to see. 
So let's go ahead and recruit some more peasants. Uh, who did we actually lose? We lost one. Oh, we didn't actually lose any men at arms. We just lost our levies, which is kind of the best thing which could have happened. I'm actually kind of happy that happened. Very convenient. Where's High Garden? It's over here somewhere. Oh, there it is, High Garden. I don't even know what High Garden actually looks like, like on this map. Um, no, what, I don't want to take any hostile action. And if we were to play uh, play with the Iron Islands as well, we could go ahead, go on raiding and just raid the shit out of the north, which would be kind of cool. Um, okay, weekly cost is getting a little bit high now. Oh, 18 bandits. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. They don't, they look, actually looked fairly armoured, which is a little bit scary. Lead the troops. So they outnumber us by like four units. Um, is there any hills or anything we can take? They're going to be on us fairly soon. So let's just tell, tell them in the whole position. Um, facing the other way would be very nice. Let's go ahead and tell them to um, yeah, hold position even a little bit back. What's the formation one? Just tell them to get a little bit closer. Yeah, get them into two ranks, just so our men are a little bit stronger. But it just looks so cool as well. Imagine what it's going to look like when we have a massive army. I wish there was a little bit more time to prepare for formation as well. I mean, I guess it does give you a load of time. But still. So we're already getting shot at, which isn't good. But I'll return the firing and shoot back at them. So they actually have a lot more archers than we do. We well, we don't have any archers. And my bow's pretty useless at this range. Even though I did just hit him. Hopefully I can actually do some damage to them. I mean, if I can take out one of them, it make the odds a little bit better. So let's go ahead and tell the men to charge now. Hopefully we can get some easy kills on the people I hurt. Let's get in the melee now. Oh crap, he's got a big old weapon. I don't want to really want to mess with him. I've actually got a spear now, which will serve me a little bit better. No, it won't, apparently. I can't block either, which is kind of annoying, so he's just going to kill me. My men at arms are going in, though, which is good. But I'm really close to dying. So I have to be very careful here. I just can't hurt his armor with this weapon. Yeah, he just fucking killed me. That's annoying. By the looks of it, they, they were just a lot better than us. Like, the bandits are just a lot harder than they are in default. So that's kind of stupid of me. Oh, so that's what I'm saying though, like, even though my men weren't exactly bad, they had like four or five extra men. Which meant that they could just, you know, wreck, rape me, like just wreck me, because they had that man advantage. Which I feel like really comes across in this mod, and because I'm just bad at it as well, which doesn't help. So, how much, oh, <laughs> are you joking? Take my money, please. Um, so what do they leave me with? They left me with 500 gold. They didn't actually take any of my weapons, which is nice. But it's just annoying because now it means we actually have to go around recruiting again. Um, yeah, which is frustrating. We have to rebuild the army. If we were to pass a city, like an actual city like King's Landing... 
Which I, I don't even know what ones are around here. I guess Weeping Tower is a city. If we had like Weeping Tower, uh, we'll pass all the keeps on the way as well. I'm pretty sure you can actually just recruit men from the city, like train professional soldiers. Which I might just do that because that would give me like a massive advantage. And if I actually get professional soldiers instead of like farmers, then I might actually have to win some battles. Which will be fairly nice. Because I mean, we have a fair amount of money. Oh, look at my beautiful Dornish lands. How wonderful. So yeah, let's go to Weeping Tower. Or the Weeping Tower. And we'll check out. Uh, if we can recruit men, obviously they'll be a lot more expensive um, because they're professional soldiers, but I think they'll be worth it. Uh, recruit volunteers. Six mounted sergeants. I don't have enough money. That's annoying. Uh, do I actually have anything to sell? I have literally nothing to sell. That's frustrating. Visit the merchants. I've never done this before. I buy all the acres. I could just borrow all the money. What happens if you don't pay back your debts, I wonder? Hmm. I'm not going to take it, take their money just now because I don't want to have like some merchant army come and kill me. <laughs> but yeah, if you know, no, please tell me in the comments what actually happens if you borrow a load of money and then just don't pay it back. I will go ahead and continue just to raise our levy size. By recruiting loads of men. It's not the funniest thing to watch in the world. But you know we have to start somewhere. No one wants to join me here. How sad. So how many men do we have now? We have 17. That's quite a lot. I want to kind of have 25 as like a, a standing number. That will be pretty nice. You stumbled and hurt your knees. Curse the gods, curse your luck. I'll curse my luck. Perhaps I've run out of luck. Uh, people don't like me. I'll lose some renown. I mean, I doubt I have much renown in the first place, so it probably doesn't matter. Five more Stormland levies. Um, okay, cool. Let's go up to Elmark. And then we'll probably go ahead and go look, hunt, look for some more bandits. Because this should give us... Yeah, six more. We have 28 men now. That's plenty, surely. You'd think so. 19 bandits. Oh, I don't know. I'm scared. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, they look fairly well armoured. Your luck has run out. Prepared to die. Leave the troops. We outnumber them by 10. So if what I was saying is true, um, we should be able to slaughter them. Numbers, like, the numbers pay a big difference. We should be able to absolutely destroy them. Can we form a shield wall yet? Or do we have enough men? Yeah, we do actually. We can actually form a shield wall, which is kind of cool. How many men deep is it? Shield wall! Are they just following me now as well? Both of it they are. So this whole position here in our shield wall formation. Kind of cool, just three dense ranks. That's really cool. We're in a, like a really bad position, though. How close to the enemy? Uh, let's try and advance a little bit. Oh crap! There they are. But at least we're moving up on our a nice tight shield wall. Hopefully the shield walk and hold until I kill these guys and take their weapon. Ah no.
They call it, we need to take some of their weapons and their shield. I need to take their shield really badly. Let me take their sword, sword. My god, just kill him. He's putting up a ridiculously good fight. Is there a better weapon along here? I mean, we'll take that spear. That might help us out a little bit. Okay, cool, babe. Only got archers left. We actually do outnumber them. That was a very costly fight, though. Can we still pick up that sword, or we do? Is it just because we don't have enough? Let's just go ahead and charge down the archers. We should be able to just win this now. We have about... Ow, we have about 10 men left. So we should just be able to straight out and number them. Even though we're actually getting raped <laughs> on the advance, I guess, which we should. The spear is doing no damage. Okay, let's go over here and try kill this dude. I mean, by the looks of it, uh, we've lost this battle. I guess our men are just really weak. My men are running now as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to kill all these guys. Because they're just going to shoot me with arrows. I mean, there's not that many left. Uh, now I'm fucked. <laughs> Let's try close the distance and get some of them to stop using their arrows. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now I know, I guess it's just a learning experience. Now I know that we can't fight a massive amount of them. Like, numbers, they're just, they're just a lot better armed than I am. Maybe some reach men will help us. And because we're here, we might as well just have a multicolored army of men. Get some Lannister men as well. At the moment, I'm just recruiting men because now I know that I need to pick on the smaller groups. I just want to have like a large amount of men. So Renly Baratheon has gone, uh, Renly has gone for king by the looks of it. So he's trying to become king. Uh, there's outlaws chasing me as well. And there's outlaws from every direction. Wow. Um, we need a full back. Sacrifice your lives for me, men. Thank you. I only lost one man, which is kind of nice. So, but I guess Renly has now declared war on, um, on the Lannisters by the looks of it. So we actually need to just recruit a load more men. Hopefully these are all replenished and we actually... Yeah, we can actually just carry on building up our numbers. Yeah, all the men are, by the looks of it, now grouping up as well. I just need to level up. How close am I to levelling up? I am pretty close to levelling up. As soon as I level up, I can actually start using a decent sword. Which would be kind of nice. Let's go ahead and grab some of Stannis' men. And because I actually have 20 men in my party, the majority of them are... Okay, well, they're fighting Stannis now. <laughs> we got one. Our army is very multicolored. All, this, all the troops. I'll rename this Spears. So... I know, so group 4 is now called Spears, and that's what you will belong to. The rest will be belong to infantry, which is fine. 
Uh, you in intercepted another raven. You unroll the message tied to its leg. It proclaims that from the Tyrells of Highgarden, urging all loyal and honourable lords to support Lord Renly. So the Tyrells have now aided Renly in his battle. So Stan it's not looking too good for Stannis. Unless some sort of devil baby comes. Uh, yeah, Stannis might not fare too well. You meet a lonely septum on the road as you pass him... You stumble and accidentally push him off the track. <laughs> Apologise. Uh, we gain some morale, uh, but we we lose renown, which really doesn't matter. We can do this the easy way. Oh my god! We just need to keep on. I can pay for my passage. Very well, take it. They only want twelve coins. It's fine. But we need to. Uh, we actually have no money, and it costs a lot to actually hold these troops. We need to find like a small unit of bandits and kill them ASAP to get some money because the week will be coming up and we'll be indebted very soon. And we're about to run out of food as well. I mean, I'm, I could just, he just attack the camp. If, nah, I'm way too weak. I don't want to risk it. Because the camp normally only has like about 10 men there. But I'm way too weak. If they attack the bandits, attack the bandits, go on. Are they going to attack them? Yes, they are. Cool. We can actually go ahead and help them. And then we can get the loot from it. So let's take to the field and aid the men. I mean, it's 63. <laughs> yeah, they don't really stand a chance at all. Like, at all. They're going to get slaughtered. I probably don't even have to do anything. However, it means I can get some loot, and it means I can send sell the loot, which is a lot, which is nice. I actually get some money. So yeah, the knights should pretty much finish this anyway. I mean, we've only got six men, so it shouldn't really be any different. I might as well just sit here. Victory, huzzah! He will then thank me for helping him. That's okay. Uh, we can't capture anyone, but we can take we can take a shield. I guess it's better than nothing. And we gain a coin. Um, that's what I was hoping. I could hear the sound, and I was hoping that they'd be attacking. So yeah, we are actually going to go ahead and aid them. Well, we're just going to hold the hold it here though. If we hold the if we hold the bridge, uh, we should be absolutely fine. Let's also tell people to yeah no hold position, and then we'll tell the people to can we not form shield wall. Oh shit, they're just shooting us to death. Okay, I guess we have to we have to charge them then. Uh so yeah, charge men. It's annoying because we're gonna get funneled onto this bit and we're just pretty just gonna get slaughtered. And apparently I can't jump down here either. But I mean at least we can just shoot. Oh I just hit one of my men I think. We can just shoot him bow and hopefully do a fair amount of damage with our bow. These bandits are so well armoured, I'm so confused. Okay, we actually run out of ammo now, so we're actually going to have to move in. And try and aid our men. Our levies are not doing too bad. Yeah, but we are actually going to push them back, which is good. I really don't have a weapon for this, so I'm just going to stay back and let my men hopefully win me today. Which they should. My levies should be able to 
push the enemy back. It means I just can't really do some like much when I'm on in this small sort of space. Huzzah! We won. Lovely. Well, my men kind of won the day. I didn't really do much. We save the villagers, which is nice. Uh, my relation with them has gone up, and I'll take my just do just because we need the money and we need the food. I've advanced to level 3, so I can actually use a sword now. <laughs> which, again, is good, even though I don't even own a sword, which is, again, sad. So let's make our way to King's Landing. We can upgrade our men, but we can't really afford it, in all honesty. So let's go ahead and advance to King's Landing. Hopefully, though, when we do sell, when we sell our honey, hopefully that will help us out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, just because we've done quite a lot, and it's probably going to be like a three or four part of this, this episode. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And um, if you like this, please do go ahead and like and subscribe, and do make sure to go ahead and comment. Um, and tell me what, uh, give me tips on this game, because it's been a long time since I've played it. So I am a little bit rusty, as you can see. I, I have lost several battles already, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, do go ahead and tell me in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And Renly has... Look how much raiding has been going on. Literally the entire front line has been raided, which is crazy. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.